What's up, fellas? My name is Tucker. This video, we're going to be talking about some Ben Simmons trades. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what's happening with Ben Simmons. What's the news? What are the rumors? What is Philadelphia doing? In this video, I'm going to explain all of that. We are getting some recent news about Simmons. I think we're starting to understand the mindset that Philadelphia has as it relates to trading away Simmons. And I'm going to be talking about all of those things in this video. Okay, first things first, just to make it completely clear, I do think that Ben Simmons is going to get traded this offseason. I think Philadelphia recognizes that it's not a good fit with their roster. He has value to other teams. They're going to be able to get what they need on this roster, which is a backcourt player that can create on the perimeter. And the best way to do that is to trade Ben Simmons. And it's the best solution for them for this roster at this point. And they might have already known that before this year's playoffs, but if they didn't, it was certainly shown to them in the postseason. But I'm sure a lot of people are asking, well, why aren't we hearing too much about Simmons? Well, we did hear something last week, and that is that the Pacers offered Philadelphia 76ers Malcolm Brogdon a first-round pick in exchange for Ben Simmons. And a lot of people were upset because, of course, Philly declined the trade. Now, that offer specifically is actually a really fair offer from Indiana provides Philly what I talked about in the intro, exactly what they need, which is a backcourt perimeter creator, someone that can set up the other guys on the roster, someone that can run the offense. Malcolm Brogdon is a borderline all-star caliber player when he's fully healthy, ready to go at certain points in his career. He's a veteran player, very, very good player. And they get the first round pick as well. Well, Indiana gets someone that is younger that they could potentially build their team around and has certainly a higher upside then Brogdon and hopefully gets him in a situation there in Indiana that allows him to really grow and develop. I don't really know how that would work when you've already got Sabonis and Turner there, but that's a conversation for a different day. But a lot of people are wondering if this is a good offer and a fair offer, why is Philly turning it down? Well, here's exactly what I think is happening in Philadelphia. I don't think they want Ben Simmons. I don't think they want to keep Ben Simmons. I think they recognize that it is best for both of them to move on, to, to reset the roster a little bit, and to just have them and the player in a different situation. However, Daryl Morey is not just going to give this guy away. If you're a fan and you think that your team is going to get Ben Simmons for a late first round pick and a role player, you're wrong. And you might look at it and think, well, the contract's not very good. Look how bad he was in the postseason. Look how bad he is offensively. Look at where his confidence level is. Look at what they traded away Markel Fultz for. Ben Simmons is not Markel Fultz. And Daryl Morey is not other general managers that have been in Philadelphia over the last handful of seasons. What he's doing right now is he's trying to rehab the value of Simmons. I wouldn't be surprised if this Pacers rumor is complete bogus and that offer was never actually made. I wouldn't be surprised if that was leaked, if that information was just kind of thrown out there to show other teams around the league, hey, yeah, we'll talk to you about Ben Simmons. We'll pick up the phone. We'll have a conversation. But you're not just going to have us give this guy away. He has value. He is arguably the best individual defender in the entire league. I would have voted for him for Defensive Player of the Year for this season had I had a vote. His ability to guard guys like Damian Lillard and then some of the better wings in the league on any given night. Ben Simmons is an incredible defensive player and a player that is bought into that role. Someone that came into the league and was lazy defensively, had all the physical tools, but did not want to put in the energy and the effort and has turned that around in over the last couple of years, but specifically in this most recent season for Philadelphia. And that is a hugely valuable skill set, not to mention his skill set as a passer, his great size. And yes, offensively, there are flaws. There are confidence issues with Ben Simmons to the point where he might actually switch his shooting hand and to the point where he does not want to shoot free throws down the stretch of games. I think we're all aware of the flaws that Ben Simmons brings to the table when he's on the basketball court but that doesn't mean that Daryl Morey is just going to give him away he understands what he's doing he knows that he needs to rehab the value of Simmons to other teams he needs other teams to know that he is willing to keep Simmons and that it's not just a fire sale type situation and that you need to come to the table with actual assets having said that I do think that Simmons is going to be traded at some point this offseason, but Philly is going to do everything they can to try and bring up his value because they know not only that they need to trade him, but they also know that his value is probably never going to be lower than it is right now, so they need to boost it up. Oh, Brogdon in a first? Fair offer. We're not interested right now. Then another team shows up with an offer. Then another team. Then another team. And once you start getting teams to bid against each other, getting excited about the potential and the possibility that still exists within Ben Simmons' game, then you can start to get what could be the most ideal trade package for you. Now, having said all these things, why am I so confident that Simmons is actually going to be traded this offseason? Well, there's just too many teams that I think make a significant amount of sense around the league for Ben Simmons. Contrary to what I feel like is being thrown around there a lot, 
I do think that there are plenty of teams around the league that value Ben Simmons, that understand the positive aspects that he brings to the game and that he would be a good fit on. I think Portland is a fantastic example. That's going to be a team that I'm going to continue to bring up. There's a natural fit between CJ McCollum in Philadelphia and Ben Simmons in Portland. McCollum bringing the backcourt perimeter creation that Philadelphia desperately needs. Simmons bringing the defense and the ability to be an outlet for, C for, for Damian Lillard in ball screen actions where if you're going to blitz Damian Lillard and leave Ben Simmons in a four on three, if he's the confident attacking the rim, I'm actually going to make an occasional free throw uh, version of Ben Simmons. You're going to, you're going to get absolutely torched defensively. And I think that fit is fantastic on both sides. I think that is a really, really intriguing option. I think there are other places around the league as well, like Dallas or like Oklahoma City that have the assets, have the ability to bring in Simmons and an opportunity for him to grow and develop outside of Philadelphia. I don't know if this is going to result in some kind of trade request at some point. It is clutch. You never know. But I do know that I'm sure conversations are being had and conversations have been had between Simmons and between Philly. And I wouldn't be shocked if the understanding between Simmons and the team is different than the understanding between the team and the rest of the league, where Simmons understands that there's at least a you know, a pretty significant possibility that he's going to get traded this offseason where the rest of the league is thinking that Philadelphia really likes Simmons and they want to keep him because his value was so low, not only on the court, but publicly. There were there, there were players and coaches within the Sixers that were basically publicly saying, we don't know if we if we can trust this guy. We don't know if he's a postseason player. And that's not the time to trade someone. So I think Moore is taking his time and he's rehabbing the value of Simmons. And I do think at some point he is going to get moved. So here's what I would predict here with the Simmons thing. At some point, once we're like really in the offseason, maybe it's during the draft, maybe it's after the draft, I do think Simmons is going to end up on a different team. I think the trade package is probably going to entail a relatively high-level perimeter player, somewhere on the same level as Malcolm Brogdon. Again, I think that's a pretty fair offer. Ideally, if you're Philly, you want a player better than Brogdon, but then you're going to have to start looking at, you know, bringing compensation to the table in addition to Simmons. But it's going to be something like that. They need a backcourt player. They need a guard whether it's banking on a healthy Kemba, whether it's Malcolm Brogdon, whether it's CJ McCollum, it's going to be a pretty simple trade because Simmons makes 30 plus, whatever high level perimeter guy you bring in is probably going to make 30 plus. And it's going to be some kind of swap there. And then you're going to have to decide if that team wants value in addition to Simmons, or if you're trying to go above a Malcolm Brogdon level player and then attach value to Simmons in order to get them. It's a team that has shown a willingness to trade Simmons in the past. It's clearly something that they've thought about with the, with the James Harden trade. And I mean, if they had made that trade, they probably would be playing in the NBA Finals right now, by the way. And I know they made every effort to make the trade and Houston was just like, nah, we're good. He's going to go to Brooklyn. But at the end of the day, I think it's pretty clear what's happening with Simmons here when it comes to them rehabbing his value, when it comes to what he's actually going to be traded for, when it comes to what Philly's going to be looking to trade him for. I think it's just a timing thing and a waiting game at this point. I could be way off. Ben Simmons could start the year next year with Philly, have an awesome season, and they could go into the postseason once again with the similar roster and hoping for a different result. It's not a solution I would advocate for. It's not a solution that I think Daryl Morey even views as a solution. I think it's clear that you know things need to change here in Philly, and as a result, that's going to be a Simmons trade. I, I, I really, really hope that that's the case because Simmons... It's unfortunate kind of what's happening with them, you know, publicly within the NBA community, because I do feel like we are definitely underrating, underrating Simmons and we're, we're forgetting the kind of special talent that he brings to the table, even with the postseason issues. I mean, it's obviously, obviously tough to see a guy not want to take layups and not want to get to the free throw line down the stretch of playoff games, but he's a crazy good passer, a crazy good defender. And I've been frustrated over the years for sure about his inability or his unwillingness to take threes in game, but I think at this point, it's a mental thing. It's a situation where he just needs to get out of Philly. And once he does, he's probably going to remind us of just how special and talented he can be as basketball, as a basketball player. He's still in his relatively early 20s. So we'll see what happens with Simmons the rest of the offseason. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below where you think he's going, possible trades you guys could see going down. I think he's getting moved. I think they're just biding their time, trying to bring his value up. And I think that's why we're seeing these rumors of like Brogdon at a first in exchange for Simmons. Maybe that'll end up being a, a similar type of trade that does go down, uh, but ultimately I think we're going to have to wait a little while still for any kind of Ben Simmons trades. But that is going to be the end of today's video, and I thank you guys very much for watching. As I said in the beginning, my name is Tucker. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like rating on it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well for NBA content every single day, and you can check out more videos from me at the boxes on screen. With all those things said, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.